Hi everybody, it's John Lorch from the Senior Health Foundation and today I want to talk just very, very briefly about one of our favorite tools for helping to keep your computer all cleaned up. And that tool is called Glary Utilities and it's spelled G-L-A-R-Y Utilities. Um, the reason I wanted to talk about it is because we feature it a lot in our PC maintenance classes here at the Senior Health Foundation. Now, we've got a PC maintenance class coming up here in a few days, I know, and so I thought it might be kind of fun to post this as a video blog up on our website just to give you a real quick overview of what the program is all about. So why don't we go ahead and let's take a look here. Okay, when you first start up Glary Utilities, and I'm using the Pro version, which you can get a 30-day free trial of, uh, right up on top of our DiscoverSkills.com homepage, by the way. They're over on the left-hand side. There's a link you can click to download it. The Pro version is very similar to the totally free version that you can get. Um, the exceptions are is that with the Pro version, you can set up uh, to have one-click maintenance automatically run at scheduled times. Uh, you of course get free technical support with the Pro version. And you can also have the Pro version automatically erase your internet tracks, places you've been on the internet and, and the tracks that you leave uh, when Windows shuts down automatically. Otherwise the two versions are really pretty much the same. So here we are and first thing I want to mention to you is, is that there's a status tab which kind of shows what's going on a one-click maintenance tab where you basically can choose certain modules to run automatically just by clicking this button at the bottom here. And then you can go into each module individually. Now let's talk about modules and what they are. In essence, modules are different parts of the program that allow you to, uh, to work and clean up windows and clean up various things about your computer. Well, on the edge here are five different buttons that you can click to get to the different modules. Let's take a real quick look at the ones that we feel are the most important. First one, if you click on Cleanup and Repair right over here, you have Disk Cleanup, which is very similar to the Disk Cleanup that you get with Windows. It's just nicely placed right here in the program so you can easily get to it. Uh, and then you have the Uninstall Manager, which again is similar to the one that's found right inside of Windows, the Add Remove Programs or the, the uh, in Windows 7. Uh, the programs uh, uh, option that you can get into to add or remove or to uninstall old software or software that you're no longer using. But then one thing that's, that, that is found in Glare Utilities that is not found in Windows is this one here called Registry Cleaner. Let me go ahead and click on that and bring it up. The Registry Cleaner basically allows you to, to let Glare Utilities scan your Windows registry looking for problems, junk, stuff that's left over, all kinds of things that basically you don't want in there and that are, are, are hurting the performance of your computer. Now the Windows registry is, is a very very important file to Windows because it has in it everything that Windows knows about itself. Um, it's also very important to keep it clean and the fact is is that Windows doesn't come with anything that lets you clean it up so Glary Utilities gives you something that you can use called the Registry Cleaner here. Okay, now those are the cleanup things that we have here. Let's go to Optimize and Improve now. Underneath Optimize and Improve, the main things that we like to look at are first of all the Startup Manager. Let's click on that. The Startup Manager is very similar to what we teach about in our PC Maintenance class called the MS Config Utility that's built right into Windows. Um, what it allows you to do is it brings up a checklist of memory resident programs that are up in memory the whole time your computer is on. And it gives you the option of either turning them on or turning them off so that they're either started or not started when, you're, when Windows starts up. Now, in MS Config, you're just given the list with the checkboxes. Here in Glary Utilities, you're given the same thing, except for they also give you a rating. And this is what's kind of cool. This rating here is basically made up of, uh, from people that uh, submit whether they think a particular startup item is necessary or not. And then the gauge here shows you how much people think it's either not needed, that's the red, or needed, that's the green. And if you want more information, what you can do is this. If I click on a particular item, I can then come down below here and I can see what that item is. And then if I want to get more information, I can click this little link right here. And what happens is, 
you're taken out to the Glary Utility website and then what they do is they basically come down and show you the different ratings that different people have given and the comments that they put in. In fact, I could even leave a comment here about this if I wanted to. Now, the thing about it is, is that, of course, these are different users. These are not necessarily experts that know a lot about this particular I option. But you can usually get a pretty darn good idea whether something is needed or not from this particular list. And, and the thing is, you can always come back and turn this back on again. If, if you turn it off, restart your machine, and come back up again, um, you know, this here can always, and if you find something doesn't work, this can always be reset again. So that's, that's the uh, little startup manager. The other thing that's kind of nice in this little window here is right down below here, it's the registry defrag. Now, defragmenting the registry is different than cleaning the registry. Cleaning it takes the junk out that's not needed. Defragmenting it basically means it reorganizes it clean, uh, and, and cleans it up so that it's in a nicer order and easier for Windows to use and read and that's called the Registry Defragmenter, and that is, again, not something you find with Windows. Now, I don't want you to think that that is a tutorial on Glary Utilities. It wasn't even close to what we do for a normal tutorial. In fact, a lot of the different modules that are inside of Glary Utilities can actually st stand to be looked at individually in individual videos. Uh, what I wanted to do today was just introduce it to you, say a few words about it, and just kind of tell you that we really think it's a pretty cool program. Again, if you're interested in downloading it, you can go right to the top of our DiscoverSkills.com homepage, and if you look over on the left-hand side, we've got a great big graphical button to download the Pro version, a 30-day fully functional trial of the Pro version. Right underneath it, too, though, we do have some text that you can click on to go out and get the free, the totally free version, too. So, hope you've enjoyed this blog today, and we'll talk to you again soon.